Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be looking at and addressing the question of how can you convert uh, a value into um, a different currency? So the example we're gonna look at today is we have a, a range of amounts in column A, so from row two to row 10. We've got uh, what that currency is. So we've got the first one in row two, we've got 738 is the amount, and that is US dollars. Uh, the second one down is 500, but that's 500 euros, and so on and so forth. And what we want to do is convert all of these amounts into a US dollar amount. So obviously any that are already US dollar, there's not going to be much change there, but it just helps to show the example and how it all works together. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the function of VLOOKUP to return um, the amounts that we need. Uh, so if you haven't already, uh, and there should be a link on the screen now, go check out that video. It'd be a great refresher, or if you're new to VLOOKUP, that will get you started on how to use that function. Uh, VLOOKUP is by no means uh, the only way you can do that. Uh, it's just the option we're going to be showing in this solution today. Alternatively, if you like um, a bit of something different, we did put a video out yesterday of index match and question whether that is actually a better formula than VLOOKUP. So we'll let you check that video out also. And uh, like I say, let us know what you think to that question. Uh, but for this example, we're going to be sticking with VLOOKUP. So to get started, we need to, know, we need to first find uh, information or data so that we can understand what currencies or what the amounts or what are the exchange rates to go from one currency to a US dollar amount. To do that, we have a, a website we can we recommend. Again, not the only source by no means, but this is one what we've previously used and has often worked. So that's what I'm going to show you. So we'll just jump over to um, our internet browser and show you that website. Okay, so now in our browser, uh, this is the website in question. And you can see the address we've got at the top here. It is xe.com forward slash currency tables. And this gives us all the information that we need to do our calculation. So for our example, we're going to be using the US dollar. But you can see that there is many options that you can select here for all other currencies around the world. And what the value you want to select here, as we've done with US dollar, is you want to select the currency that you want to convert to. And that will make sense in a second. Also, you have the option to select different dates, so you can go back in time to see what the currencies were on a different day. But again, for our example, and probably what you'll most likely use, is just the latest data available, which as of today is the 28th of February 2019. So to get that data, we just hit enter on this little arrow. And there we go, we're presented with all this information at the bottom here. So if we just scroll down, we can just see a bit clearer. So we've got the currency code, it was our three letter identifier. You've got the currency name, so US dollar or USD is US dollar. And then we can see the various conversions of units per US dollar and US dollar per unit. So, to give an example, let's look at GBP. So, we've got GBP, this is the British pound. And we can see that there are just over 75 um, pence to one US dollar. And there is also, if you're converting from pounds to US dollar, one pound is going to equal $1.32. So hopefully that makes sense. We don't want to sort of confuse or dive too much into that really, but this is, this is the information we need. So what we're going to simply do is scroll to the bottom of this page. Oh, not quite to the bottom, but we'll scroll to here and we can select all this information Hopefully this is coming out in real time, but in essence, all we're doing is just selecting all that information there so you can see it's been highlighted there. And then we're simply going to be able to go copy, go back into our Excel. And what we'll do for this example is we'll put our currency data to help give it tidy onto a separate sheet. So we can just simply paste it into here, like so. Um, it's the formatting has gone a bit strange, so what we'll just do is we'll take off the wrap text, expand our columns, and then there we go. And then just out of habit, it's going to just take out these little triangles that it brings through when you copy. So let's just do that. And let's just, I'm really trying to tidy this up now, not that you really need to worry too much about this, but it's just, it just helps to keep everything looking smart and easy to reference. Let's just do that, make our columns a bit wider, and then let's change these to uh, four decimal places. 
There we go, perfect. So we've now got our, all our information that we need. So we've got currency code here. Um, this is going to be the big part of our of our VLOOKUP. Um, and all we're going to do is pull through this value you see in column D so we know what to multiply our amounts by. So we'll just do that, work through that now. Let's just put currencies on here as well to remind us what's in that sheet. So what we, what we need to do, so the first thing we do is we've got our currency amounts here in column B. So what we need to do is we need to know um, what we need to multiply this amount in column A by to get a US dollar amount. So this is where we're going to use our VLOOKUP. So what we do is we enter our equal sign and type VLOOKUP, open brackets. We then select the currency, what we want to look for, followed by a comma. We then go to our currency sheet. And the currency code, what we're looking up, or B2 as you see here, is obviously appearing in column A. So that's where our range to look up needs to start. And we want to go all the way and look for the value or return the value in column D. So that's where we need to span our range from the start point where we're going to search for a value and up into the column, what happens to be the last one in this instance, where the value is that we want to return. So we can then do our comma. So we now need to tell the formula what column our data is in. So our, our data range here of uh, A to D is four columns. And the range or the value we want to pull back or return our VLOOKUP formula is appearing in the fourth column. So we need to enter the number four. And then this is the bit that often confuse people as you now need to refer back to what you're doing first, is we want to do an exact match. So we can either do that by entering uh, false or simply just putting a zero value in there and hitting close brackets. So you can see our formula. So we're going to look up our currency code from the other sheet where it appears in this instance in B2. We're going to look up in this data, go in currencies from A to D. We're going to return the fourth column value, so what's column D here. And when we look for our value, B2, in column A, we're going to do an exact match uh, for that lookup value. And then all we need to do is hit enter. Okay, so we haven't hit enter, we've now been taken back to our this initial sheet for currency exchange. And you can see it's pulled through a value here of the number one. Uh, and that's because it works, well, it's, it's accurate because the currency we're looking for is US dollar. And because it's looking to try and or see what the conversion rate is from US dollar to US dollar, obviously it's going to be one because both are the same and there is no increase or decrease required. If we pull that formula down, we can then see all the different various uh, exchanges required for each currency. So to grab a couple of different examples, we've got a euro. So we can see that uh, for every euro, there is 1.14 um, US dollars. And the same for GBP. So for every one GBP, there's actually 1.33 uh, US dollars. So these are the amounts we need to um, increase um, or uplift the value we currently have in A by. So for the euro, we need to times uh, 500 by 1.14 to convert that euro amount into a dollar amount. So if we were to keep it separate, our formula would look something like this. So we would say equals the value in column A times the value in column D and hit enter. And then if we pull this down, oh, and let's just do a bit of formatting as well just to tidy that up. You can see what our USD amounts are in column D. So obviously no change for row two. But we can see in row three that 500 euros, uh, when we do the exchange rate of 1.14, we actually get 570 US dollars. And the same as we go down. So that GBP example, for pound that we looked at earlier, we can see that 425 Great British Pounds are actually one, uh, 565 US dollars when we use that exchange rate of 1.33. So that's great, and that gives us that result. But actually, we rather than have a separate column, we want to include this final result into our column C. So all we need to do is include this first part here of A2 times C2 into our VLOOKUP. So rather than our final form, and rather than our formula being A2 times C2, we can literally have A2 times a VLOOKUP. So to do that, I'll show you what I mean. So in here, we just need to add that little additional bit of the value we have in A2 that we want to exchange, then do our time symbol, 
uh, again holding down the shift key and the number eight to get the times or the star symbol and then obviously we have our VLOOKUP formula so what's going to happen is it's going to get the value of A2 and it's going to times it by whatever is returned or the value returned by our VLOOKUP and then when we hit enter ah, we can see a result and ignore column D for now uh, what we could do is if we just undo that let's just put these values as numbers or as in values rather than having the formula in there then they won't change so let's just put our formula in here again. So let's just do equals A2 times our VLOOKUP result. And there we go. And then when we pull that down, we can see the values that we have there. And we can also just change the formatting to make it simple. So there you go. You can see that the amounts we have in C are exactly what we had in D when we did it separately. So all we can do is we can get rid of this one now. And there's our final result. So we have our amounts, our starting amount in column A and it's uh, what the currency is in column B, and then what it, that initial amount in column A is having been converted to US dollar. And you can see that for all the different various amounts. And it's obviously dynamic with our VLOOKUP looking at our currencies table that we have currently in a separate sheet. And then as the currencies change, or if on a daily or weekly basis you wanted to update that, all you'd need to do is go back to the same website that we used earlier to pull fresh data and that would obviously dynamically update into our formulas so we wouldn't need to change anything going forward. So we hope that was of great use to you. Um, please again if you've got any questions do drop us a comment below or reach out to us on our Facebook page to which uh, links are available in the description of this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and give this video a great big thumbs up. It is very, very greatly appreciated. And if you don't hear from me before, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.